another round of uh, troubleshooting the Axiom uh, using Axiom uh, multifunction display display engine data of my Yamaha 70 horse using the command link and also the Yamaha gateway uh, 6YG 8A2D0 there, there's no LED light of this thing. There are two plugs, and these are all female plug. Female plug to this uh, male pin, uh, NEMA, NEMA cable. And this is the uh, pigtail wire, which is a female, but the port is a male port. So. See here, there are four pins in there. So this is a female pigtail, one foot to the command link, and this connector here is a male as well. So the Yamaha gateway has five males pin in there, as you can see, for the NEMA, and the NEMA is a female. Uh, cable to connect to this Yamaha gateway so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to try to test the data wires to make sure the data wire is working then I already switch the remote control on so the engine is getting power but Axiom is not displaying the engine data because if it does this trim level should flash up and down in yellow and the voltage battery voltage is going to show here but it's not showing and the rpm is going to start flashing as well but it's not showing so it's not working the data wire is working the way to do that is you open the back of this command link and then you try to make sure check their 12 volts power going through this multi-hub all right so okay so what we're doing now is we're trying to open the back of this command link so we can check it i'm going to check the blue Connection between the blue and yellow wires should show 60 ohms. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. There we go. So the, uh, that's open, and everything is connected. The command link is connected to 12 volts power using this power plug. So, um, so as you can see here, two longer plates here. If I put my voltage meter to uh, 20 volts and I plug the two pins in here and here as you can see I'm getting 11.92 volts if I turn my ohms to 200 then I'm gonna supposed to check the blue wire and the white wire as you can see the blue wire and the white wire is on top and the black and red are at the bottom so the red wires the black and white black and red are here you know the top ones and then the bottom one or the left hand side is the blue and the white which is should give me 60 ohms so i'm gonna put them in put the two pins in there that should give me 60 volts as you can see there it's getting there well actually I should uh, I should have all the devices off right now I have the device that's why it's showing like 50 46 58 uh, ohms so I'm gonna try to shut off the engine now including the Raymarine XM device powering that off see 
it's 58.4 volts and the ohms and that's close to 60 60 ohms so basically if i measure the wire and the white wire as my pins are inserting there like you see here on the right hand side the two longer plates are positive and negative uh, which connects to the black wire and the red wire over here okay but uh my prompts multimeter prompts inserting and uh, two shorter uh plates here which corresponds to these two the black wire and the sorry the white wire and the blue wire which is the data and it's showing me 58.4 volts uh, ohms sorry i keep saying oh volts it's really ohms okay but now i'm going to move the i'm going to move the two prompts to the engine side and i should see 60 as well there you go see 58.5 58.6 Okay, so which is close to 60. So you know the data wire to the engine is correct, is, is good because it's close to 60 ohms. And the data wire, this one here, the one foot pigtail to the gateway, the data wire is also functioning good because it's getting me 58.4, almost 60 ohms um, for the these two you can see 58.5 58.4 so I know this port is also good now let me check this open port if I put the check the open port showing me 58.2 as well so the these two these three device ports as you can see here first port is the power and the BUS and the device, device, device. All three devices giving me 60 volts. So if I go to plug in the BUS, let's see if we can get anything. And we get about 58 volts as well, as you can see there. Okay. And if I come to here for the BUS, okay. And probably get 60 volts as well and you can see I'm getting 58.3 this BUS port which is the terminate resistor resistor 58.4 is 58.2 so that's 60 ohms as well so this command link this multi command link multi hub is working correctly keep in mind I have um, the axiom multi-function display off which connects to my NEMA 2000. I also have the key switch to power the multi-hop, but I do have the voltage to here because it's connected it to here, to the battery here, you know? So it's just uh, axiom on. switch again the engine data reading again Seeing the AMA app here, and uh, it will start flashing here in yellow if it works, and it will start uh, showing me the battery voltage here. And um, once it starts flashing, I know it's good, you know. So,
Terminator on this command link. I also have where's my NEMA? I also have two Terminator, uh, one here and one here for the NEMA 2000 backbone here. Is, uh, time is up and uh, I'm still not getting any trim level flashing and no battery indicate no battery voltage here so I know